Dibre Hayamim Aleph, First Chronicles chapter 20. And it came to be at the turn of the year, at the time sovereigns go out to battle, that Joab let out the power of the army and destroyed the land of the children of Ammon and came and besieged Rabbah. But David remained at Yerushalayim, and Joab struck Rabbah and overthrew it. And David took their sovereign's crown from his head, and found it weighed a talent of gold, and there were precious stones in it. And it was set on David's head, and he also brought out the spoil of the city, a very great amount. And he brought out the people who were in it, and put them to work with saws, and with iron picks, and with axes. And thus David did to all the cities of the children of Ammon. Then David and all the people returned to Jerusalem. And afterward it came to be that fighting broke out at Gezer with the Philistines. Then Sebekai the Hushathite struck Sippai of the sons of the giant, and they were humbled. And there was fighting again with the Philistines, and Elchanan, son of Yair, struck Lami, the brother of Goliath, the Gittite, the shaft of whose spear was like a weaver's beam. And there was fighting again at Gath, where there was a man of great size, with twenty-four fingers and toes, six and six, and he too was born to the giant. And he reproached Israel and Yohanathan, Ye son of Shema, David's brother struck him. These were born to the giant in Gath, and they fell by the hand of David and by the hand of his servants.